taking me this long to do this video. So I was going to do my intro outside and then I remembered the last time I vlogged a little bit with my Bronco in it and it was just super duper windy. So now you just get to hear the crickets from my animal room, but at least there's no wind. So <laughs> my Bronco was a gift to myself, um, a divorce gift to myself. Um, I've been divorced now for over two years, is separated at least for over two years. Divorce takes like a year to happen, as those of you know that have been divorced. It's a very long process. So um, my ex-husband was the type who didn't really care much for cars, like classic cars, I guess I should say. And I have always really liked old classic cars. I've always wanted like a 49 Mercury. I love like 62 Caddies. Like I've always just really liked them. Not that I know a ton about them, but I just always loved the way classic cars look and still do. So um, I was on the hunt for a Ford Bronco for quite a while. I remember finding the site bringatrailer.com where you can actually <laughs> bid on Ford Broncos or any kind of truck or car for that matter. And I was getting a facial done and I was tell I told um, the esthetician, I was like, hey, I'm like so sorry that I'm gonna be super annoying and like sit on my phone right now, but I'm bidding on this black 1969 Ford Bronco and I don't want to miss it. So <laughs> while she was doing my facial, which was probably extremely annoying, but she was super cool about it, um, I was bidding. And unfortunately, I didn't have good internet service and lost on that one. But I think it was meant to be because I ended up looking on Facebook, finding one that I absolutely loved. I messaged the person and I was like, hey, do you still have this one? And he was like, no, we don't, but I have another one. Um, and it was, I think they call them loners when they're basically taking the body of one and just completely transforming it. So he was like, this one's gonna be way cooler for you because you're gonna be able to choose everything from the upholstery to the color, like the rims, like everything. So this really excited me because I loved the idea of restoring an old car, but of course, I don't know how to do any of that myself. So this 1969 Ford Bronco, now named Lupe, used to be red, and she also used to be a stick. <laughs> um, I had her switched from a manual to an automatic, and a lot of people say, especially men. Sitting there just like worried about shifting it and stuff when I wanted to like change the song or just enjoy the scenery like I guess like when you are used to driving a manual it's like second nature but it's just not something I wanted to deal with and I wanted to be able to drive it right away and I literally haven't driven a manual car since I was 14 years old and took my mom's manual car out of the carport in the middle of the night and drove to some guy's house I didn't stall it once but I haven't driven a manual since then, except the motorcycle that I just drove during my motorcycle course, which I passed. I was about to do up and then I realized I haven't shaved my armpits for a couple days. So Lupe used to be red and I thought to myself, I don't want a red car. Um, I don't wanna be like just asking for a ticket. So I decided to paint her a teal color, similar to my neck tattoo and this tattoo. Teal is one of my absolute favorite colors. So it was so hard to choose. So I ended up holding up paint swatches to the car and trying to decide which one I wanted to go with. 
Now, I had met Nick at this point, so I asked him for his opinion, and he was like, go with this one because it's like less green and less like, or it's like more green and like less baby blue. And I didn't go with a classic Ford color because I just didn't love any of them. Um, I mean, I appreciate all of the colors and they look great. I follow quite a few Ford Bronco pages and they look great, but I think mine looks better. Um, but if you wanna really stick to like Ford colors, this isn't it. I don't know actually what the color is or paint or what brand it is, but it's not Ford, I know that much. Here she is. So I went ahead and went with just black rims to jump right into it. And it was really hard for me to decide through text with this guy if I wanted these black or like how much stuff I wanted to be black. And then these, he was like, what color do you want these? Do you want these silver or white or black? And so I kind of went with a, a black on teal theme. So I got these done black and these are black also. I just really liked the bolts on here. I thought they were kind of like aggressive and rad looking. Now my Bronco does not have the Coyote engine in it. It does have the original 302. Oh my gosh, the gnats out here are like out of control and they keep trying to like, I almost said swim into my mouth. They keep trying <laughs> to freaking get into my mouth. So these shock towers, I don't know why he painted them this color. Um, we're gonna have to fix that. You usually don't paint shock towers as Nick told me. So also they're like a completely like different color from the paint color. So I don't really know what's going on there, but um, these doors are hard to open just like any classic car. And you can see the stitching here. I chose the diamond stitch. I also chose this thread. This is not an exact match to the color, but it's as close as I could possibly get it. Um, so inside, I've had this rhino lined so that it's much easier to blow out if we take it to the desert or wherever. Um, we've got a little compartment here that <laughs> has some trash in it. Oh, I forgot about these. We went to our first car show a couple weekends ago and I was a little too late to put this in the competition, but I think it would have won. Here she is. So I went ahead and went with just black rims to jump right into it. And it was really hard for me to decide through text with this guy if I wanted these black or like how much stuff I wanted to be black. And then these, he was like, what color do you want these? Do you want these silver or white or black? And so I kind of went with a, a black on teal theme. So I got these done black and these are black also. I just really liked the bolts on here. I thought they were kind of like aggressive and rad looking. Now my Bronco does not have the Coyote engine in it. It does have the original 302. Oh my gosh, the gnats out here are like out of control and they keep trying to like, I almost said swim into my mouth. They keep trying <laughs> to freaking get into my mouth. So these shock towers, I don't know why he painted them this color. Um, we're gonna have to fix that. You usually don't paint shock towers as Nick told me. So also they're like a completely like different color from the paint color. So I don't really know what's going on there, but um, these doors are hard to open just like any classic car. And you can see the stitching here. I chose the diamond stitch. I also chose this thread. This is not an exact match to the color, but it's as close as I could possibly get it. Um, so inside, I've had this rhino lined so that it's much easier to blow out if we take it to the desert or wherever. Um, we've got a little compartment here that <laughs> has some trash in it. Oh, I forgot about these. We went to our first car show a couple weekends ago and I was a little too late to put this in the competition, but I think it would have won. Then over here is an ashtray, which we don't use. You can actually see a little bit of the original red paint right here. Many of these knobs don't actually work, um, but we've got brights up here that do, the heater, none of that works. The windshield wipers do work though. Uh, here is our gear shift. Um, this doesn't work, so it's just kind of there. 
we've got some cup holders. I probably should have like cleaned this before I did this video, but classic cars aren't as easy to clean as normal cars. So yeah, this guy um, is awesome because I can lock it. So I've got the little stereo system here and then I actually have one of these and apparently this is illegal to have in these as I'm told, but I've never actually used it, <laughs> but you can uh, shout at people and turn it on or make like siren noises or whatever. And of course I've got one of those Polaroids in there. Very important. I have got to close this. So this is an area that I can actually lock up when we go somewhere and put something in there because this guy does not lock. The back is complete with some seat belts. Nick actually just put those in because we couldn't find them before. They hadn't put them in yet. So now we can actually ride with people in the back and we've got our Mexi blankets because it does get rather cold in here. Um, we've been stuck out driving this thing and coming back after dark and it is so cold. This pulls out like so, and then we have a nice tailgate. We've taken this to a concert before, and this was so key and worked out so well. We just sat on here, set our drinks on there, whatever. It was such a good time. I also decided to leave the roll cage on here um, just because it looks rad. It's safer, and I don't know if he would have even taken it off if I had asked but whatever, we still have that. This actually did have a very old top with it when I got it, and it had all these tracks here to put the top on, and I basically just asked him to remove it because I just knew that I didn't want to deal with it, and if I wanted a top, I would get one later. Driver's side is pretty much the same as the other side. The horn actually doesn't work, so we need to get a new steering wheel column because that's kind of important. And then this is my little blinker. Um, this actually works, which is great. It will blink on here when it's on. I don't know if it'll blink. These light up right here when it's on or off. So the unfortunate part is this part of the steering wheel, steering wheel blocks that. And so a lot of times I have my blinker on and I don't even know it. As you can see, I actually went with the brand new looking LED lights. There were some that were more modern looking, but I wanted to go with something that's still like embodied the classicness of the car. So I decided to go with these and I think that they look pretty dang good and they're actually really bright. Thanks for watching guys. That wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my little tour of my 1969 Ford Bronco. I'm curious what, like if you could have any car, what would it be or motorcycle uh, or truck, whatever, what would it be? Leave in the description box below. I can't wait to see what you guys say. Find your car twin also and give them some love, but thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video. What the hell is that noise? It's a car on that highway, but like, what, what is that noise? <laughs>